Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome to Pro Unlimited's webinar, Source the Best Contingent Talent with Deep Learning AI. This webinar will focus on the exclusive partnership between Eightfold and Pro. With, with Eightfold's AI-driven talent intelligence, Coupled with Pro's 30 years of data technology, this further increases the power of Pro's contingent workforce management platform. Before I turn it over to our presenter for today, I wanted to provide a few housekeeping reminders. All webinar participants are automatically placed on mute. We also encourage you to ask questions during the webinar by using the Q&A section in the bottom right corner of your screen. We will answer as many questions as we can live during our Q&A session, and we'll follow up on any questions we may not get to. Now, I'd like to introduce your presenter for today, Shabi Ormazabal, Global VP of Product Marketing at Eightfold. Shabi, over to you. Great, thank you so much. Uh, really pleased to be uh, speaking to you all today. Um, and basically, uh, you know, we're really here to be talking about how you can source the best contingent talents with deep learning AI and how Eightfold gives its capabilities jointly with uh, Pro Unlimited. So my name is Xavi Ormazabal. I'm the VP of Product Marketing uh, at Eightfold, and I'll be taking you through this uh, discussion today and sort of explaining a little bit about what we're doing together with our two companies. So the first thing uh, I'd like to sort of just kick off with is talk a little bit about who Eightfold are, just to give you that context. So um, Eightfold is a company that has our mission uh, to find the right career for everyone in the world. So it's a big lofty ambition, and it's really kind of the heart of what we do and the heart of the solutions that we build, how they're unique and they're different, and really focused on taking people through that talent discovery journey uh, in a number of different levels. Uh, we're also a single AI platform for all talent. I'll talk about that in the coming slides, what that means exactly, and how that manifests itself in the types of solutions that we have. As a company, we do have a global footprint. We have over 100 customers in 110 different countries and 19 different languages represented. And we were founded in 2016, so we're coming up just on our fifth year anniversary here, uh, with headquartered in Silicon Valley and with about 500 employees worldwide. What's also interesting about our solutions is that we actually have uh, patented deep learning AI technology. We actually have three kind of areas of our patents. The first is around using machine learning to calibrate job descriptions and correct based on diversity data, which is something that will come through in, in some of the slides that I talk about. Also, we have a patent around removing data from candidate profiles that may influence bias, how you can really have that masking capabilities, which is so important for driving diversity, equity, and inclusion. And finally, we also have a patent area currently around how you can predict candidates that are most likely to be hired in a successful and be successful in a job. So it's kind of the core, the heart of our technology is that predictability that we're able to build into uh, profiles based on all of our information and our data that we capture. Also, just to close, we are very important uh, focused because of the ambition of our company and the reach of the products that we have. Certification is a constant for us around whether it's privacy in the cloud around ISO 27001, uh, SOC 2, Type 2, working with the federal government with FedRAMP, and also the uh, OFCCP uh, certifications around our uh, ability to remove bias from our AI processes. And also making sure that we are compliant from a data and privacy perspective with GDPR, CCPA, et cetera. So really excited today to be talking about uh, Eightfold AI and Pro Unlimited. Obviously Pro Unlimited experts in um, contingent worker hiring and direct sourcing. And we're really excited to be partnering in the solution Direct Source Pro. And I'll be talking a little bit about what are some of the key ingredients that help make our joint partnership so important today. So when we talk about, you know, the solution or direct source pro now, why? Uh, here are some of the top trends and insights that we're kind of seeing in the market. So first of all, there's a real effort to balance the workforce in a post COVID era. So many Fortune 500 companies will be actually expanding their contingent worker workforces from six 
to 30% by the year 2025. So we know that this is a totally important trend that's currently taking place. It's really, really highly relevant. And contractor hiring, there's a boom coming. So in the next 18 to 24 months, contract worker hiring will explode. And this trend is really here to stay. And companies are kind of ready to embrace another key part about contract workers, which is direct sourcing, because they want to leverage the power of their brand. They want to be able to really attract the best talent. And it's estimated that 20 to 60% of a Fortune 500 uh, company's hired contractors had actually applied for a full-time role in the last three years. So what companies are realizing is that the power of their own brand and the power of their own talent networks is really important and a key piece to driving direct sourcing for contract workers. It's something that can't be overlooked. It's something that's, that's having increasingly importance for these large organizations. Also, you know, direct sourcing is kind of the future of contractor hiring. There's really strong benefits that come from it. So whether it's really finding better quality talent, again, leveraging the brand equity of the companies that are doing the direct sourcing and the hiring, improved diversity, equity, and inclusion. So being able to source uh, more roles more effectively uh, based solely on their skills and their background and less on other characteristics. And then having a faster time to fill is a really important part of this direct sourcing motion. And some of the you know, key benefits that this brings to companies is an estimated average cost saving savings of 15 to 25% annually, even after payroll or employer record costs. So it's really important to understand the value that direct sourcing can have for large companies today. And what's what we call talent flex, which is our capability to partner with contingent working uh, capabilities and also to work with uh, direct um, direct pro here with, with uh, uh, pro unlimited. Some of the kind of elements of uh, H-fold that really map onto this start with, for example, uh, doing matching, instantly matching and finding the best candidates from your applicant tracking systems and talent networks for a gig based on skills, on location and availability. So that's a key part of what the AI does. And I'll go into more detail on how we do that in the coming slides. Also, H-fold really reduces the friction by automating the application interaction process. So making it really easy for candidates to find you on the personalized career site on your website, and then having seamless interactions from the hiring managers, from the folks who are doing the sourcing, whether it's through SMS, through WhatsApp, through email, through chatbot, and you know, having that deep interaction between candidate and hiring manager, which is so important and, and in reducing that friction. Also, uh, onboarding candidates with payroll providers or a vendor management system. Now, obviously this is what our partnership with Pro Unlimited really focuses on that whole end-to-end -end solution. So once a gig is done from an automated collection of feedback from both the hiring manager and contractor, how that payroll process kicks in right away. Also, Eightfold tracks on the gig experience and feedback, helping candidates develop or mature their skills for future gigs. So there's also a talent management component to this, which is important where you can understand what's been the historical performance of contingent workers and how have they worked on specific project and gigs? What skills have they actually acquired during their time working with you? And how can that be applied for future opportunities? Also, Eightfold helps candidates find their next gig using hyper-personalization based on their prior skills, on their prior gigs and engagement as well. So it's really kind of important to have that sort of uh, talent marketplace, that gig marketplace, that's really driving a lot of the efficiency in this kind of solution. So that's kind of uh, an intro or some of the key elements. What I'd like to do now is kind of talk about specifics or areas of how the AI from Eightfold can be applied to contingent talent and what does that provide for you? So first of all, when you think about it at its core, one of the key elements is around how you unify talent data with AI. You bring it together from a number of disparate sources, and that really allows you to draw better insights. You're able to, once you unify that talent data, to enrich it with uh, real-time public uh, sources of data to make sure that you're you know, getting actionable insights, you're actually able to identify and to work with talent in the most appropriate way. Also, 
and, and that you have the most relevant information. You can also unlock workforce potential, like a key part of all of Eightfold's philosophy and architecture is around understanding the core skills of profiles and how those skills are acquired, how they're developed, how they evolve over time. And that's something that is a key part of the platform as well. Finally, how do you identify the best talent for each role? And I'll go into some specifics on the way that our solution works and the, you know, the things that it offers when you're in that whole process of managing your pipeline from initial interests of candidate through applicants, through people who are in the process, through people who might have been hired in the past, et cetera. And finally, you ultimately want to deliver the best candidate experience. So that's where I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the elements that Eightfold brings to bear to really for, put the, for, the, the brand of the hiring company at the forefront, deliver the most frictionless experience, and then talk a little bit about some of the benefits that our customers have experienced due to these uh, improvements. So first of all, let's talk a little bit and double click on unifying talent data with AI. So one of the things that's very common to people today all across the HR spectrum, whether you're in direct sourcing and contingent worker, or whether you're doing talent acquisition and more traditional full-time employee hiring, is that you have siloed system and sources with a lot of information overflow. If you think of all of the ways that we interact with candidates, all the different tools that we use and channels for interacting, for contacting, for getting information, for making sure that we're compliant, for making sure that all the things that we're doing are being actively tracked and managed effectively, there's many different point solutions that exist in the marketplace that companies have kind of organically acquired over the years, but that aren't joined up. So you have a lot of sort of silos of, of different bits of information that are lost or scattered across multiple disparate systems. And it makes it really hard to capture the insight and to do more with your data. So what AFL does at its heart, when we talk about the deep learning AI capabilities of data uh, of eightfold, is it plugs into three important data pools. On the left, at the bottom, you've got our global data sets. So this is where eightfold has over 1 billion anonymous distinct profiles of workers globally and a deep understanding of their skills or their capabilities and their evolution. You've got over a million skills, unique skills within that data set as well. So it helps uh, the AI learn and really understand what a particular skill can mean in a context, in an industry, in a particular job, in a particular geography, et cetera, as well as over 1 million titles. So that's the baseline of what enriches and what gives all that capability to Eightfold to have a deeper understanding of the talent experience end to end. Next, you have public sources of data, and I'll touch on this a little bit further ahead as, as one of the key steps. Um, you've got career pages, you've got resume databases, job boards, census data, company data, all this public sources of information that when you have a profile, you can ensure that that data is fully up to date with publicly available information and it's more accurate. And the third piece here is when any company that's doing hiring, whether it's direct sourcing, contingent hiring, all their enterprise HR systems. So it could be their HR information systems, whether that's Workday or Oracle, Taleo or SAP Success Factors or others. It can be their different learning management systems where they're tracking the courses and certifications that employees have. It could be your applicant tracking system for all the historic of different people who've applied and interacted with the organization. You could have your silver medalist in there, people who didn't quite get the job, but might be important for the next gig or the next opportunity, your vendor management systems as well. All of these is your internal data, so to speak. And once it's unified into and married up with these two other data sets, that's when the magic of deep learning can really, really happen. And on the far right, you see there, you're better able to understand potential. You're better able to understand skills and capabilities of the talent that you have and also learnability. So how adjacent skills play, how people can move from one particular skill area to another based on their trajectory and those of many other profiles in the system. Also, their fit to role and how likely they are to succeed in your organization, which is ultimately one of the most important 
matching capabilities within the whole process. So when we talk about AI at its heart, the deep learning, pulling from these three data sources, this ultimately builds up to what we call the single AI platform for all talent. So you've got these source systems I mentioned before, the enterprise HR systems, you've got the global data sets and you've got the public data sources also. And these feed into this talent intelligence platform. And this is kind of the core concept of what AFOLD does and how we partner then with Pro Unlimited in the, in the case of contingent and um, direct sourcing. You've got things like capability matrix. You have explainable AI that really flag posts and, and signals why the system is doing a certain rank or making a certain recommendation on a candidate. You have a lots of deep talent insights into the skills and all the things that uh, is within the, the greater data set of AFOLD, as well as a company's talent network and the diversity objectives that it's working to achieve. On top of this, you then have a number of different specific application areas. So we've got talent management, which we won't talk much about today, but this is really the piece around internal mobility, upskilling and reskilling and workforce planning. You've got core talent acquisition, which can be both a bit against contingent and full-time employees, where you've got sourcing, candidate experience, screening. We uh, integrate with a lot of uh, different solutions for things like assessments and other capabilities that are important part of that talent acquisition flow. And you've got scheduling and you've got at its heart kind of the uh, candidate relationship management system, which is so important for delivering that, that superior experience. And finally, we've got talent flex, which is specifically the piece around contractors, redeployment, rediscovery, very relevant to what we're talking about today with contingent workers. So we've talked a little bit about the different pieces that come together in order to power the AI and the deep learning. We've talked about the talent intelligence platform. And the end result of all of this is that you end up having one single AI platform for all talent. And most importantly, the company using the solution has their own talent network. They're, they're actively able to nurture and manage and leverage. So from left to right, you've got things like all the past applicants in your system, all the current applicants the different referrals that have come through employees, even university recruiting, or folks who've at the very beginning of their career have come into your system, into your talent network. On the far right, you've got your current employees. You've got your contingent workforces, the last gig that they worked on, what's the next gig coming up that they could be a good fit for, et cetera. Passive candidates, former employees. You have that huge view of all of these, you know, Elements and if you really think we contrast it back to that initial slide about the silos of information with the point solutions. This is really what we're solving for. This is how we're building that integrated talent network that each company has that they can leverage and get uh, better agility and efficiencies from. So, once we have that concept of the unified uh, data platform for AI. You next have the need to enrich that unified data to provide actionable insights. And I talked a little bit about this earlier, but this is really the capability where when you have a candidate profile in your system, you're able to connect to public data sources with publicly available information, things like Google search API or Microsoft Bing API, a lot of uh, resources and websites in the case of, for example, technical hiring, things around Crunchbase, GitHub, Stack Overflow, to really understand the projects and the capabilities that that person has been working on. Or in the case of a candidate providing a public LinkedIn profile, that's something that can continually, you know, be updated and synced and remain perennial in your system so that when you're ready to tap the candidate on the shoulder for the next gig, you've got the most up-to-date, uh, relevant information. Now, we have the platform, we have the real-time information. Now we're gonna think about what does this imply for unlocking workforce potential? And this is a big issue, this is a big question mark in terms of how organizations think about what's the skills set that they have, what's the skill graph, the, the, the gaps that they have within the organization, what they need within a particular role that's being hired for, et cetera. And Eightfold offers a lot of intelligence, a lot of analytics and insights into this process. I just want to show one small example from our interface that can be interesting to understand this a little bit better. So the ability, for example, we talked about those 1.5 billion profiles and you know 1 million plus individual skills. 
we can do deep skills analysis and understand what's the prevalence over time of a specific skill set. So let's say, you know, I just put three examples here from more of a technical pro, uh, background. See what's the evolution over time and demand of Java, for example, as a programming language. And then two languages that are very specific to data science, which is a very booming field, C++ and Python. And we can see the comparison of how, you know, Python's actually ramped quite quickly over time. C++ is a little bit more in decline. And understanding the nature of those skills, and, you know, these can be soft skills, they can be uh, more business specific skills, or they can be technical hard skills, as in this case. Understanding that you get a much more complete understanding of where you are with your current hiring capabilities, what you need in your organization across your full time and contingent uh, workforces. Also, we're able to then see what are related skills. So those are a couple of skills I was searching for, but what are adjacencies? What are other things that people tend to know that work with those different concepts. Also, what are some of the top companies that actually have people in their networks with those kinds of skills to date? And I can see a little bit more information and understand those profiles more effectively. I could even go deeper and understand what are some of the top schools, uh, whether it's university programs or vocational training or at all levels, that are actually training those specific skills today. And how can that inform my strategy or approach to searching and hiring for different candidates. So you started with the platform, we unified the data, we got the most relevant data, we start to understand skills and how we can actually shape our workforce. Now we're actually in the brass tacks and thinking about how we're gonna identify the best talent for each role, in this case, when we're doing our contingent workforce hiring. And there's a number of different capabilities that we bring to bear here. Here's just a view of what the experience can look like for a recruiter within sales, within um, uh, Eightfold, in terms of the applicant tracking system and the, the uh, candidate relationship management part of the solution. So here we see a particular role, for example, uh, can be director of product marketing. We see the funnel across the top with the leads, who's been contacted, what the volume of specific applicants are. So we can see that we go from 75,000 leads down to 14 applicants. And there's a lot of information here around who we're talking to and what's kind of core of the AI is the matching capabilities. It's able to show us of these applicants, who is the absolute best match? We see, for example, this candidate, Benjamin Bayer, has a five-star uh, match uh, across their capabilities, and it's not a black box. This is where our AI is explainable and it's understandable. We're able to see that that person has 22 years of relevant experience. It's got, they've got 11 relevant skills. They're an ideal candidate across 80% of the characteristics that we've uh, calibrated for when we've defined this particular role. And we can see here what skills they have, the titles, et cetera, all the sorts of information. If I go into a deeper view of that candidate, we get to see the level of skills insights that the solution offers. So we have kind of four elements here. Of course, we've got the, the profile of the candidate. We've got some highlights. These are the four elements that I'm discussing, the validated, likely, and uh, skills to be validated, as well as missing skills. So this candidate has already about seven key skills that have been validated. What that means is that from their resume, from their public LinkedIn profile, the information that we have in our system we're able to validate that they definitely have those kinds of skills and people who have worked in similar companies and industries and roles actually have those kinds of skills as well. So we, we believe those to be true. Likely skills are skills where the employee might not have explicitly reported things like brand management or account management or success planning or business planning, sorry. But the system is able to infer or understand that based on People like Benjamin, people who have worked at similar companies in similar geographies and so on and so forth um, can have that experience. And I just hovered on this one on CRM. You see that five people at Fair Isaac have that particular skill. So we're actually, actually matching at the level of a particular company that this candidate worked for in the past to validate that he likely has this skill, even though he hasn't expressly uh, put it into his uh, CV or his LinkedIn profile. Then we've got skills to validate. So there's no evidence in our system that 
he actually has B2B skills. It might be one that we need to probe a little bit more in the interview process. And then there could be missing skills that neither the candidate has expressly identified, nor have we um, uh, detected. So, sorry, going back to the ones about skill to validate, the candidate did claim that they have a B2B skill. That's one that we actually want to go and validate because we're, we're questioning a little bit based on the kinds of companies they worked for in the past. And that's the power of that deep understanding of skills within the AI. Now, where the skills validation becomes really important on the topic of diversity, equity, and inclusion is we know, for example, female candidates tend to underreport their own capabilities. So if we look here at this particular candidate, Danica, for the similar role around product marketing, we, she's got the same categories around validated and likely skills. She's got fewer skills, about four that she's expressly validated, but there's five that are likely skills that she hasn't expressly put in her resume or her uh, LinkedIn profile. And that's really interesting because what it makes us understand is, you know, there's research that, that shows that female candidates tend to only apply for a job when they feel like they check every single box on the job description. Whereas male candidates tend to be more confident and jump right in when they feel like they meet you know, 50 or 60% of the capabilities. So this capability in and of itself has driven a lot of improvements in diversity hiring. Another capability here that matches to this is the ability for candidate masking to improve diversity. So we're able to take the same profile mask any identifiers around race or gender or background or specific university that that person attended. So we really make sure that the hiring manager is seeing a clean slate and is able to make a more informed decision based on the skills and the potential of that candidate rather than other capabilities. So it's really eliminating bias and driving more diversity, equity, inclusion. And we've had customers such as Postmates report a 91% increase in the volume of female applicants just by using this capability. So it's really exciting to see the uh, impact it can have. Then the last pillar that I want to talk about is how do we then, with these elements of the unified data, the real-time update, um, up, updated data that we have in the system, uh, the capabilities under, um, under the deep understanding of the talents and the skills, how do we then deliver the best candidate experience to those applicants? And there's a couple of pieces here. Eightfold really does help across the board. And I won't go through all of these elements, only to say that from job calibration through to sourcing, assessment, scheduling, and feedback, and even making an offer, there are concrete improvements that we see from our customer base. So we see tons of improvement in time, 30 minutes for job calibration versus weeks. This can be a very involved process at many large organizations. A greater uh, application rate on a personalized career site up to 40% where sometimes personalized career sites only get, you know, 1% application rate from visitors. So that can, it's a huge improvement. Also lower cost for sourcing, higher candidate engagement, and eventually more high quality candidates and greater recruiter time savings. So a couple of things I'm just going to close on this piece around candidate experience. Here's an example of a personalized career site. This is kind of generic. It's made for eightfold. It's more of a demo site. But the concept is when you're searching for a role, you know, whether you're, you're searching for a contingent, a short-term gig or, or a full-time position, you've got to come to a company. You've got to understand what they're about. You've got to understand what do their nomenclature of their opportunities mean. You've got to understand, you know, search across opportunities and location. Well, there's something that we do that makes this experience fundamentally different and much more enriching and seamless for applicants, which is the upload your resume capability where you can get matched. And what that does is many candidates who've leveraged the personalized career site at of eightfold across multiple websites have experiences where you drop your resume in and suddenly that kind of, you know, detailed page with a lot of jargon and company specific information becomes a much friendlier place where you can see there's matching. It explains why you're a strong match for a particular role or good match. It makes it clear with the explainable AI, what are the skills that are relevant and what are the pieces that come together? So how much more intuitive is the search experience? It's ultimately going to drive a lot more interaction for uh, website visitors. 
And ultimately what that means is you've got other elements here. For example, this is the view from the talent acquisition side, going to a candidate and choosing, you know, a number of candidates to interact with and directly saying, we want to reach out through SMS and having a templated, you know, message that you can send out. Could you be a good fit for this opportunity? If you'd like to know more, please reply to this text message. So those kinds of elements really drive greater interaction uh, and adoption. And that's kind of at the heart of what our customers are seeing, uh, improving that candidate experience. Conagra saw 35% faster time to fill overall. Dexcom, who makes medical devices for measuring insulin, um, actually saw a 40% career site visitor to application ratio. And they even in their first weekend saw over 70% visitor to application ratio. So it's really important power, driving the power of the brand and leveraging tapping into their own talent networks. AirAsia had fewer recruiter hours per role. And I mentioned Postmates earlier as a great diversity uh, equity inclusion experience in terms of doubling their female applicants with the use of Eightfold. So then in closing, I just want to come back. These are the core elements of AI applied to contingent talent that we talked about. First of all, unifying the talent data with AI. Second of all, enriching that unified data with real-time actionable information. Unlocking the workforce potential with a deeper understanding of skills. Really identifying the best talent for role, uh, for each role and doing that high quality matching and delivering the best candidate experience so that you drive and you turbocharge the power of the brand that's doing the hiring and you make the experience really seamless for the talent to discover those opportunities. So with that, I'd just like to close. I know we'll hand it over to questions for a second. Uh, my last little CTA here is if you want more information on the Pro Unlimited and Eightfold partnership, you can go to the Pro Unlimited website and there's a blog post that describes our partnership in detail. Also on the Direct Source Pro platform, you can go to the Pro Unlimited website and find more information there, which can go in, into more detail on the actual solution. So with that, we'd like to hand it back to our, our webinar hosts. Great, thank you, Shabi. This is a great presentation, um, but I do want to open it up um, now for our attendees for Q&A. And just as a quick reminder to please use the Q&A box located in the bottom right corner of your screen. Um, so Shabi, the first question is really around um, how many companies are seeing a focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. And I think you talked about this a little bit um, in your closing statements, but the question is really around how Eightfold AI can help companies become more diverse. Yeah, that's a great question. I think at the heart, uh, diversity, equity, inclusion is, is a never ending journey. It's something that companies are becoming aware, aware of and attuned to. And there's a lot of, you know, key elements to it. Obviously the social aspect and, 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 the, and the social justice piece, but there's also a talent scarcity in the marketplace. So if you're not able to tap into more diverse talent pools and understand candidates from their core skills and paths, you're going to miss out on the, the capability, the, the ability to hire some amazing talent. So some of the key elements around that is really how you anonymize people in the hiring process. And you make sure that you're masking those characteristics that will allow the uh, person doing the recruiting to understand candidates more based on their skills and capabilities and competencies and less on other, other characteristics. Also, um, Eightfold provides analytics about where uh, people are not progressing within the funnel and in the process. And that's something that can really be leveraged to um, greatly improve diversity within organizations. Great. Um, the second question is around how you can help companies really hire for potential. Yeah, that's a great question. And I think what we see is part of the sort of evolution of AI solutions for talent intelligence and potential boils, it, it goes down to boiling down the deeper understanding of a job into the core skills that make up that particular job and what makes someone successful and predict the capabilities of success, the, the potential of success that a candidate has within the organization. So when we think about that, it's really important to uh, break down uh, you know, with data, with our capabilities in AI, we're able to make that process a lot more efficient and do that breakdown from formal 
job descriptions, uh, formal internal, you know, facing jargon about the way our company works into the core skills that are required. And then that's going to help us match more effectively to what's in the market and ensure that we're hiring for that potential that we think can, you know, be effective in the next gig and the next job and the next uh, stage of, of, of skills that your uh, organization is requiring. Perfect. So I know that we are a bit over time. So I do want to thank you, Shabi, for a great presentation today on sourcing the best contingent talent with deep learning AI. And thanks to all of you for attending Pro Unlimited's webinar today. Again, we encourage you to visit our website for more information on the Pro Unlimited and April partnership or to contact us with any questions. So we thank you again for joining and have a great rest of your day.